So let's install SteamOS. First thing you'll want to do is download the Brewmaster ISO from Valve. Then you'll want to burn the ISO onto some sort of storage media. You could use a DVD, a USB drive, or in my case, an SD card. So once you've burned the ISO onto your storage drive of choice, boot into your BIOS and go to your boot settings. Once you're at your boot settings, you'll want to check your boot mode and make sure that it is set on UEFI and not legacy. If you're using anything like Windows 8 or newer or any recent Linux distribution like Ubuntu, you should already be using UEFI. So once you've verified that you're using UEFI, you'll want to boot into your boot device selection menu. On my computer and most computers, I just hit F11 until it happens. On some HPs, you hit escape and then you select it. It's different for each computer. Now my menu is going to be different than yours, but make sure you find the selection where the Steam OS ISO is located. In my case, it is the generic USB SD reader and select that hit enter. Once you're there, you'll come to the screen. You can go ahead and use automated install, which will of course erase the disk. But for this guide, we're going to use the expert install because we are experts. The first thing you're going to see is a menu that lets you select your language, select your language of choice, select your location of choice, select your key map of choice. Then Steam OS is going to look for some hardware components and it's going to load some components from the CD, which in my case, I'm actually using a USB drive. Then it's going to detect all your disks. And the next interactive menu is where you partition your disks. If you're unfamiliar with disk partitioning, just accept the defaults and move on. But know that whatever disk SteamOS installs to, it will wipe all of the data on that disk. If you do want to choose this custom partition, like in my case, I don't want swap or boot recovery, and I want a bigger root directory, you want to do something like this. So we don't want the boot recovery. So what we're going to do is we're going to click it, go down, and delete the partition. We don't want the swap, so we're going to click it, delete the partition, and now we have 20 gigs of free space. I want to allocate that 20 gigs to the root directory. So I'm going to click the root directory. We're going to do resize partition. We're going to write the previous changes to the disk. We're going to continue. And up here where it says the minimum size and maximum size, and we're going to use that number for our maximum size. Now keep in mind, your numbers will probably be different, but the process is the same. So we hit continue, it formats the partitions for us. Now we're ready to commit the changes. So we're gonna scroll all the way down, click finish partitioning and write changes to the disk, and then hit continue. If you did what I did and remove the swap space, it's gonna yell at you for it. Go ahead and click no, because we don't wanna to return to the partition menu, hit continue. And now it's telling you that if you commit this, it will erase all the data on the drive. We know that, we want that. So let's go ahead and hit continue, and now let's wait for the install to finish. The next interactive menu you should see is the software selection menu. Depending on what you end up doing with your SteamOS, you may or may not need the GNOME software package, but in my case, I do want it, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it, and then you'll click continue. Once the installer is finished, it'll reboot, and you may or may not be presented with this bootloader. In the event that you are presented with the bootloader, either let it time out or just select the first option and continue. Once you get past the bootloader, it'll dump you into a GNOME shell desktop, and this is where Steam is actually installed. Now, if you don't have an active connection, it'll pop up with this error and it'll ask you to configure your network in the event that it's wireless or in the event that it's wired, plug in the wired connection. For this tutorial, I actually unplugged my wired connection so this would appear. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Now, once you've configured your network, you'll see this nice little icon up here. It'll either be one of the little Wi-Fi icons, or in this case, it'll be a little Ethernet jack. We'll hit OK on this menu box, close this out, and then the Steam installer will pop up automatically. This is another part of the install process where you just sit and wait and let it do its thing. Once it's done installing, it'll configure some kernel modules, and then it will reboot again. After the second reboot, if you see this logo, the next stop is Big Picture Mode. And here it is! This is the first thing you'll see upon loading into SteamOS, the big picture mode. And if you used Steam's big picture mode, it's pretty much the same thing. Sorry about the contrast, it's really bad. But you'll want to select your language, then you'll want to read and agree to the Steam user license, then you'll want to adjust your display, then you'll select your time zone, and that's the last thing you'll need to do. And we've made it to login. Now obviously you'll need a Steam account, and if you don't have a Steam account, you can actually create one from SteamOS, but I think everything else from here is self explanatory.